So look at the camera for me. So hello, this is Lawrence, and this is Ryan. And we're having our first beginner lesson. Let's put our thumbs up. So we're excited. Are we ready? So the first thing we're going to do is build our technique, and we have to curve our fingers. Ryan, show everyone your five finger exercise. Oh. So let's try. We start on middle C, and we push. So let's do only right hand. Take away your left hand. Oh, so you don't know which hand is left or right. Okay, let's play a game. Put your right hand in the air. Oh, no, <laughs> that one's your right hand. Now put your left hand in the air. Great, right. now both hands down. Right hand in the air. Left hand in the air. Right hand in the air. Right hand in the air. Oh, good, I didn't trick you. Okay, so let's put our left hand down and let's do five finger exercise from middle C. So from here. Good, and push down. So let's see if those fingers are curved. So they look pretty curved from here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke them. Try again. Push down hard, good. Ooh, finger two is bending a bit. Great, keep it nice and curved. Finger three. Try to push down a bit more, get more power there. Finger four. Great, let's get it more curved. And finger five. Great. Now let's do a game. Let's try lift our finger once, three times. Great. And finger two, three times. Great. Finger three, three times. Great, I can see that finger two is bending a bit. So let's curve this. And finger three one more time. Great. Finger four. Keep it nice and curved. And finger five. All right, well done. So you're gonna need mommy to help you a bit. And mommy has to poke you every day. <laughs> Mom has to be like this. And then you'll get your fingers nice and strong. Yes. Now let's try left hand. So left hand, let's try. <laughs> yes, that's your left hand. And we're gonna go from here, five fingers, push. Great, now keep it all nice and curved. And finger four as well, try again. All right, finger two, three times. Play finger two. Oh, this one's finger two, that's it. Three times. Great. Finger three, three times. Yep, so we have to push all the fingers down together like this. Push them all down and lift the finger three only three times. Try. One, two, three. Finger four, three times. Lift it up. One, two, three. And finger five, three times. Let's try. Great. So the idea of the five finger exercise is to make our fingers nice and good. So show our curved fingers at the camera. At the camera. There we go. And now we have to learn our fingering. So at the camera, let's wiggle our finger ones. Right? Finger twos. Finger threes. Finger fours. And finger fives. Great. So we'll play a quick game. Fingers out. Let's do it out here so the camera can see. I want you to wiggle right hand finger two. Great. Let's wiggle. Oh, oh, that's not finger two. Which one's finger two? Yes. Now I want you to wiggle left hand finger three. Yes. Let's try right hand finger five. Up in the air. Which one's right hand finger five? Great. And once we get better, we can make it harder. Are you ready for the harder version? <laughs> so, the harder version, fingers out, and with two hands at once. So let's do it out here. Let's wiggle right hand finger two and left hand finger five at the same time. Yeah, more difficult. Now let's wiggle left hand finger three and right hand finger five at the same time. 
So you got a bit lost. So left hand finger three and right hand finger five at the same time. Good. And this way we'll remember our fingering. Yes, wiggle those fingers. So mummy is going to call out your fingers. You run out scratch and sniff stickers already. Oh, we didn't run out. I gave it to another teacher instead. Are you jealous? <laughs> you like the, the smelly ones. All right, now the next thing we have to work on is your flashcards. Did you practice it every day? Um. Yes? Good. So you must be really good at your note reading. So let's start with this mm. note. Good. Play it for me. How about this one? E? Yes, E. How about this one? D? Good. How about this one? Mm. Oh. G? Oh, yes, G. And this one? F? Good. Nice. Now we're going to do the speed test. Do you know what that is? The speed game is when you have to get it right in three seconds. So I want you to choose your animal. Do you want the tiger? Do you want the pink seal? Or do you want the bear? Which one? Seal. Do you like the pink seal? Okay. So you're going to show everyone the toy he chose? Yes. Okay, this is the, the toy he chose. Now, what's going to happen is you get three seconds to say what the note is. If you're too slow, the seal is going to sit on your head. <laughs> poop? No, not poop on your head, sit on your head. <laughs> Why? Because it's saying you're too slow. But if you get five rides in a row, you get to sit on my head, okay? Mm, Ooh. Poop on your head. So ready, what's this note? Three, two, two one. D. <laughs> yes. Play D for me. Quickly, okay? Three, two, one. D. Three, two, what? one. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, mistake. Ooh, hop on. So we'll try again. Ready? Three, two, one. F. Nope, this is actually a G. G. Good. So it's harder, right, when it's fast. Now, did you try bass clef? I saw Ryan. Mom, did he try bass clef? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's make it hard. Ready, Ryan? Bass clap. What note is that? Three, two, one. It is a. Oh. So we can count. Mm -hmm. Great, good job. And how about this one? Oh, Three, F. two, good. And let's try F. one more. Three, two, one. Good, that's pretty good. High five. That's it. So two octaves pretty good today. We're gonna do the same thing next week with the three second game. And who knows, I might use the tiger this time. Big tiger. Healthy tiger. Healthy tiger? Of course he's healthy. Otherwise he wouldn't be so big, right? Yeah. So coming along, two octaves again next lesson, but faster. Yes, you have to be fast, like a lion. No, like a cheetah. Well, like a cheetah, yes. So 10 minutes every day. Okay, same two octaves. Now for the fun part, our pieces, yay! You should say yay, say yay! <laughs> say yay. Yay. Good, and put your hands up and wave it. Great. So let's show everyone how good your bastions is first. Now remember, when you play, you have to count out loud, okay? Are you listening to me? You have to count out loud. Now which piece did you play first? Oh. I'm crazy. I'm play that one evil. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. 
Are you ready? So coming along, Ryan. So the problem is you didn't count out loud. loud. Okay. So when you're a beginner, you should count with your mouth because that will make your brain count more. Okay. I found it in my mind. That's right, and that's the problem. You're counting in your mind, and then sometimes not in time. Okay. So the next time, mommy tells you to count out loud, make sure you do it. So I want you to count extra loud. Okay. When I say extra loud, I mean. One, two, three, four. You love to talk. I can tell. You're a talker. So you should count loud. So look at me. Say one, two, three, four. Should say, say it loudly. Go. One, two, three, four. Louder. One, two, three, four. Louder. One, two, three, four. Okay, pretty good. So we're going to go from the very top and listen to me do it. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get those fingers nice and curved. Ready? Two, three, four. One, go. One, two, So you came off a bit too early, but now it's a lot more on time. I want you to say one, two, three, four, off. Count the full four beats. Ready? Last chord. So over here. Yes, and then G go. Now say. One, two, three, four. Oh, you have to say off at the end. Off. Still a bit too early. Remember, it's four full beats. This is not correct. So look at me. One, two, three, four. Because I came off too early. You have to count four full beats like this. One, two, three, four, off. Your turn. Let's try it. So only one note here. And go. <laughs> Great. Does it make more sense now? Great. So focus on counting first, and at the very end, make sure you say off when you come on. Now, a few things to work on. So, what is a solid dot with a line? This is called a crotchet. Good. So, not a crockridge, it's a crotchet. And how many beats are there in this beat? Only one. one, that's it. Now a more difficult one. What is this one? So it's not colored in and there's a stick coming up. So it's a minimum. Minim. Good, give me a high five. So you know it's a minimum, it's not mini mouse. Now how many beats are there in this one? Um, two. 
Two, he looks at mommy, yes. She has the answer on her head. And <laughs> the last note, have a look here. It's a circle, but there's no line. So, what do you think this one is? One and two and. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So this one you haven't learned yet. It's four beats, right? Mm -hmm. It's called a semi breathe. Say it for me. Semi breathe. Great, Ryan. Does it make more sense now? Feel confident? What is this called? Oh. Oh. Semi breathe. Semi breathe. And how many beats are there? Four. Four. Very good. This one can pass. I'm going to give you a sticker for this. Uh, but today I... Give you a big sticker. Look at this. Big sticker. All right, the next piece. Make sure you count out loud for me. Let's try. This one or this one? Oh, yeah, but I... <laughs> Yes, the same piece. Try the last chord one more time. Da. That's right. Da. So let's try the last chord over here and show me your semi brief. Go. Last chord. This one. Yes. Oh, this one. Yeah, the last one. Oh. Ready? Go. Kind of yeah, you got it. And then play. Oh. Great. So that's four full beats, okay? before you're doing three. So here is quite good, but you're stopping sometimes. Yep, and I still think your counting should be louder. Yeah. Yep. You're a bit hesitant. You're a, one, two, three. I'm not sure what I'm doing. One, two. Okay, so I want you to count loud. So look here. Yes, I know it's Ryan. Have you never seen Ryan before? Yes, you've seen him before now. Yes, he's not an alien, okay? Yes. <laughs> so when you play, count louder, go. One, two, three, four, ready. Try. Loud. Yeah. Count out loud, not count out soft. Go. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two. Four. One, two. Three, four. One. Count louder. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Curve your fingers. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Too many notes. One, two, three. 
curvy fingers. Because if you don't say it, this is what happens. Look at me. One, two, three, four. What's wrong with that? You actually count it three beats, right? Because you came off on the four. Make sense? It's like doing this. Look at me. One, two, three, four, off. Not one, two, three, off. That's actually three beats. Make sense? So let's try the last one. Four notes for me and hit. And one more time, and after you come off, you have to give me a big high five in the air. Really high. Try. Great. Good high five. Now, I noticed that you did this very well. You didn't play the second chord. So this is called a... This line is called a... Um, has mommy taught you yet? So she only taught you not to play. Huh? But does she know... Did she tell you what it is? Uh, yeah. It's called a tie. A tie. A tie? Have you yeah. heard this before? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so one more time. If you don't play the second chord, it's called a tie. Yes, tie. I'm not sure. There's a tie. Say tie. Go. Tie. Yes, that's it. This one can pass as well. Yeah, so many stickers in one day. Uh, oh, today I have two right. stickers. So this race car, where do you want me to put it? Should I put it on his head? No, I'm going to put it right here. Right here, okay. So the starfish is going to step on it. Alright, let's carry on. Mm -hmm. This one's a bit more difficult. We've got quavers here. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. We haven't done it yet. Oh, you haven't done it yet? Yeah. I haven't done this one. But he's I didn't do this one. I, I only did these two. I didn't yeah, do these two. And I didn't do these. Alright. So I want you to stand on my side. So on my left side. And watch the way I do it, okay? So you're going to count. And now we're going to start working on dynamics. Okay? Once your counting is really good, you have to add dynamics. Because music will sound really boring if you play like this. Ready? One and two and one and two. Dynamics, P means piano, which is soft. So I want you to say something. Say piano. Piano. Yeah, so this instrument is called piano. You see how my nose goes up? Piano. Say that? Piano. Yeah, nose got piano. Piano. Try that? Uh, piano. And this is the instrument. But we want it soft, we say piano. Say for me? Piano. Yeah, say ah. Piano. Yeah, and say piano. Yeah, I know. Okay, and this means to play soft. Soft. Now this over here, the crocodile's opening his mouth. This is called a cree. Cree, you said it before. Cree. What? I think you said it last week. Crescendo. Say it for crescendo? me. Crescendo. Yes, crescendo, and this means to get louder and louder. louder. But this one here, the crocodile is closing his mouth, it's called a decrescendo. Say it for me. Decrescendo. And this means to get softer and softer. MP. So what is MP? Well, we know P is soft, but what on earth is M? Well, it stands for mezzo. Say it for me. Mezzo. Say pizza. Pizza. Now say mezzo. Mezzo. Good. So your new toy, you're going to call him mezzo. Okay. <laughs> And this means medium soft. Say it for me. Medium soft. So it's a bit louder than soft. And this one here is mezzo forte. Say it for me. For mezzo forte. Which means medium loud. Loud. Okay. So it's not loud. A bit softer than loud is medium loud. Make sense? Good. It's like when you have McDonald's. Okay. Medium size. Okay? It's big, but it's not that big. Make sense? So, I want you to be a bunny for me. If it's soft, you have to go down low. Show me your bunny. 
Now, if you have to get louder, like a crescendo, you have to become an elephant. Become an elephant? Good, you can even do this if you want. Right? Yeah, then it's just back to soft, you have to become a bunny again. So ready? It's soft. Where's your bunny? Go. See how you go at home, and at the very end you say one and two and off. Make sure you say that. Great. Now we'll move on. Move on. This one should be quite easy, but you've got a lot of ties. So what do we do? S separate hands, okay? Separate hands. Good. So let's teach people watching how we practice in muso. Okay, so we always teach you guys to do something called five times rule. Is that one the same? Yes, it's the same. You're so smart. <laughs> the first line and the third line is the same. Yeah, good. You can save time. So, looking at the camera, tell the camera what five times rule is. Um, it means you practice? Five times? Which hand? Left hand. Oh, I was putting my right hand up. Okay, five times left hand. Left hand. And then five times? Right hand. And then five times? Together. Good. That's how we practice. And we do one line a day. Okay. Of course, when you get older, you can do two lines a day. If you become really good like your sister, you can do a whole page. Oh, how good is that? So watch this. One and two and three and 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 one and two and three. Yeah, it's a dance. A Spanish dance. to look out for is your staccatos. Staccato means to play nice and short. Okay? Make sure you come off. Great. And morning prelude, I'll let you work on that with your mom. Make sure you use the pedal here. What's that? This one is just a practice, but you don't have to do it. So you're learning how to use your right pedal now. All right, let's move on. And you've done two pieces from Thompson's. Yes, the new best friend is Thompson. First two, isn't it? Yeah, first two. <laughs> Very messy, I can't tell. <laughs> Let's try the first one. The left one. Ow. And make sure you count out loud. Louder, go. One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. I need to practice with that with my mom. Yeah, you need to practice. Good, I like your thinking. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, you need to off here. So always say one, two, three, four, off. Oh, oh, to stop oh, you oh. from coming off too early. So let's move on. But before we pass this, we have to do our duet. Do it. Not do it. It's duet. Say it for me. Duet. So it means you and me play together. And what's the most important thing when we're doing a duet is we have to... Ca count. Count. What happens if we don't count? Uh, we get lost. We get lost. Okay, so early on we learned that counting is the most important. Let's try from the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Count louder and play louder. One, two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Count yeah, louder. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. Does it make sense? Yay. Great. So you're going to pass this one as well. Oh, yeah. everything pop, 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 pop. That's right. Your goal is to pass it without me saying anything. Oh. You say very good and then pass. And let's do the last piece, plain tag. Okay. Let's try. One and two and <laughs> you forgot you can't quit. Oh. oh, you said it. Yes, high five. You said off, five and this one can pass. Straight away. Ah. Yes, how good is that? If you can pass straight away, it means you did super well. Super duper well. Part of my yeah, so two new pieces next week. Same thing, counting. And you might want to erase everything because it looks a bit messy. Yeah, I think my, my sister drawed it. Or maybe just buy a new one. It's not expensive, I think. Yeah, so I would practice one line a day and accumulate. I think that's the best way. All right, and I'm going to start adding dynamics, okay? So next week we'll be focusing on dynamics. Yeah, so showing that you can play in time but with loud and soft. You don't need pedal for these ones. Okay, so just follow the rhythm and count. Any questions for today? No? Great. So we're going to say goodbye now. So look at the camera and say bye bye. Great. Good job. You should become an actor when you grow up.